Hey everyone, welcome to our latest 3ds Max Quick Tip, a series of videos from the Pixel Academy that contain handy hints and productivity boosters for the 3ds Max application. One aspect of the 3ds Max toolset that hasn't seemed to receive much airtime over the years would be the built-in project management tools that use project folders in order to help manage and track assets that are a part of our 3ds Max scenes, something that Max is in fact doing by default right from the very first time that we run it. To ensure that you are able to take advantage of this fairly powerful file management system, I'm going to quickly walk you through setting up and then using a dummy course files folder such as you might download after you have purchased a Pixel Academy course, although this could just as easily be a project folder of your own that you have created from scratch. Now in this particular quick tip, I am going to be using 3ds Max 2018, simply because the workflow has remained pretty much unchanged since the project feature was introduced, although I will throw a little bit of Max 2016 into the mix as well, just to show some of the UI changes that have taken place in 2018 as compared to earlier versions. Before we set up the project folder however, let's just perform a quick check on our 3ds Max preference settings. Coming to the Customize menu then, let's choose the Preferences option, and then once the Preferences dialog opens, we can jump into the Files tab, with the setting that we are interested in being this Convert Local File Paths to Relative option. This particular setting ensures that should we decide to add an asset to a project after it has been set up, so say a bitmap to a material, then it will always receive a file path that is relative to the project folder itself, as opposed that is to receiving a hard-coded local path which can cause all sorts of problems should we want to move or pass our project folder to another machine or even studio. We do need to keep in mind though that this feature will only work properly if we make certain that any files we do add are placed inside the project structure itself, so in this instance inside the course files folder. With that option checked, we can go ahead now and step through the process of setting up a 3ds Max project folder for a typical Pixel Academy course, with the process, as we say, being identical for any project folder that we want to use. All we need to do then, with our cursor over the 3ds Max viewport, is hit the X key to pull up the universal search, type PROJ for project in the search field, and then choose the Set Project Folder option from the sorted list that appears. This opens up a dialog that lets us select any folder on available storage drives in order to set that as our project root. Now an alternative to this approach in 3ds Max 2018 would be to come to the File menu and then from there choose that same Set Project Folder command. Now if we are in an earlier version of Max, so let's say 2016, then we would need to come to the Application menu, and from the Manage flyout, again choose the Set Project Folder option. I will need to locate the Course Files folder, which I've placed on my desktop, and then click to select it. Once done, all we have to do is hit the OK button, and our Course Files folder has now been set up to serve as our root project folder. What we will find now is that whenever we use application functions such as open, import, export, or even set up a render output path, we will automatically be taken straight to the appropriate folder in our project root. So whenever we want to open up a start scene for instance, we can just use the open command, which takes us straight to the project scenes folder, and then from there select the appropriate folder or scene file. Better still is the fact that we now have access to a project specific set of autosave or auto back and scene hold files, both of which can be lifesavers should 3ds Max start to behave a little temperamentally. 